Right, I've just had a very close encounter with a huge herd of bulls. Like that. I walked right through them. They had their horns clipped, but we've still got them. Fortunately, they let me walk through. There was one sat on the path back just up there, on either side of me. And they were looking at me. Some of them were looking at me. And I kept thinking, my God, what do I do? I still don't know where I am at the moment. I can't find the path. I've got a feeling it's going to be in a minute. It's got to be. It's going to be where the valley is. I've got a feeling it's going to be here. But like I said, that was very, very close with those cows. I didn't have the video rolling. I didn't dare. I just kept walking and I got a red jumper on. But look at the size of that. And it takes one of them to charge you. And they're all bullocks or bulls, by the way. They ain't cows. And they're massive. They must have a docile character. However, there's the hill fort. See that gap there? Oh, I was up at the hill fort, wasn't I, about two weeks ago? And I did the secret steps and all that. I got a feeling the path is not right down the bottom, Sheila. You don't have to do that. That's Burrington Coombe there, right? That's Burrington Coombe over there. See this line of trees? This is what I've got to get onto a track near them. But that was a scary moment for me. I got over the brow of the hill and I'd just seen them. And they, as I kept walking, they were both sides of me. One massive one just sat down. He didn't look at, they didn't look at all bothered. I thought they couldn't have them out here if they were killers, could they? You know? Oh, bloody hell, that was so scary. I had to keep going. I've got the red jumper on. I don't know if they can see. Now, there's a stone there. Somewhere very soon is going to be the path. Because what happens when I do this path, usually I do it from the other way. So I always know where I am. I do it from the other side. Um, and if I come from this way, from the fort, I sort of weave my way down the hill there, come through the wood here, and branch, instead of going down to Burrington Coombe, I wiggle around and pick up a track that takes me straight across with great views, like I've got now. It's just picking up the track. So, but last time I went too far down, and I had to sort of try and find the path. You know, it was... Oh, I hear a raven. I hear a raven then. Right, well, we've passed one danger mark. And we've just got to look for the path. It should be quite distinctive, I would have thought. It sort of emerges when you come out of there, but not right down. You don't have to go right down. I'm trying to keep an eye on it. It's got to be very soon. Very soon. I think it might just be down that line there where that big tree is. I'm not sure though. But it is a defined track. It's not like um, the one I got on further down just petered out. So I had to just keep walking up until I found the track. There's a bit of dirt and gravel there. It's, it's, it's not far now. It's got to be very close now. Uh. So, is there, are you enjoying yourselves with me, everybody? Are you? Are you bored yet of my conversation? Am I boring? What do you want to talk about? Space? David Bowie? Politics? Family? Yeah, somebody's put a little stone there to mean something for somebody, haven't they? Oops. 
That's the type of fossil I would have thought, that scalloped out bit. Right, what I'm going to do now, folks, I'm just going to go down. I'm, I think the path's going to be very, very close now, because I've got to be going that way. Right, over and out. Right then, we're leaving the parade. Where all the big cows are up on the hill there, which I had to walk through. They were walking about at the time. A lot of them are sat down now, but they were walking about. They're expecting the rain, I expect. They're really big beef cow with big horns. And that was a bit of hairy, but I kept me cool. I didn't panic. I didn't run. I didn't walk too fast. I just didn't look at them much. And I didn't video them. But I did take the odd photo. But anyway, here's the crossroads. If you want to go to the hill fort, Robero, go that way. Go that way down to Burrington Coombe if you want to go in. I think there's a cafe or something down there. But it used to be a pub. And this is our track back now. This is our track. Now, last time I came, I went a bit too far down. I had to wander across all this bracken. I think I followed, a, I wasn't following them, but there was another couple. I thought, oh, well, they must, I hadn't done it for a while. So, and I don't normally, I don't normally do it from this direction. I always normally do it at the top and come through here. But, uh, no, it's nice to do it from this way. And with them um, harvesting the bracken, like they do, you get a really good impression of the trees and the shrubs. Uh, and, that, of course, the... You can see the animals more clearly as well. People on horses coming. And of course there's Barrington Combe. I don't know if those people on horses are coming my way. There's Barrington Combe. Like I say, you can go down there. I've gone down there and I've walked along the top and then come up with the other side and rejoined the Mendips further up. I have explored all this area. We'll have to shelter under a tree if it starts raining because I mean, I thought I spelt a spot then. Plus, the cows are um, starting to sit down. But of course, stormy weather is coming. Stormy weather is coming, but it's supposed to be tomorrow and later tonight. Oh, they're not coming this way. We're alright, I can video. Just follow this track, Sheila. Just follow this track. Now, of course, I can remember... I used to say to myself, when I got to one of the streams, if it's three o'clock, you've got to turn back towards Cheddar. Otherwise, you won't make the last bus. But, um... Yeah, that was, that's always been a rule of mine. Turn back by three. Well, it's nowhere near three. And we're actually, if you like, we're on the turn now. We've done the loop. We're going back. But we're going back on the other side of the Mendips to get these views. And if I if zoom in right up on top of the hill there, there's either another herd of cows or their horses. Now, their horses, look. And big, is that a cow? I think it's horses and cows up there. Yeah, but they're up there. Now, if I'd gone that other route, which took me across the top of the towards the trig point, it's, it, it, it's likely I might have bumped into cows and horses. But here we go, everyone. I just want to turn off a minute to take a picture of those horses on the hill a minute. Over and over. Right, now, somewhere when I've done the other videos, I'll put it on the write up. I used, I put captions uh, of each path, what it's called, each little coom as we pass and we go by the stream. Um, they've all got names. I haven't got my map with me and I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I will add them. Um, 
I mean, in the past, I used to carry the map around with me in the beginning when I was, um, you know, say, over the last, say, 10 years ago, when I first started to explore the Mendips properly, um, I used to carry the map, but I don't anymore. I just uh, hope that the paths will still be there. Yeah, so this is all Barrington Coombe over there. There's a bit of it. I've actually stood up. Right, here's one little comb. Like I said, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it on the video. Um, I think the last time I came, it was dried up and it still looks dried up, look. Which you do expect to a certain extent after the summer with a lot of very hot, record-breaking heat waves. Um, yeah, I've got it with the stream running down as well. Um, and I've been up that track before now. It takes you right up on the top where those cows and horses are. But I'm going under this way. But I've seen it when it's been very busy with water here. So, is a, there is a trickle. Look, after the, the rain in the next couple of days, this will be flowing quite well again. So you don't have to worry about the trees here. So it's a little steady climb up this way. It's not the it's a pretty route I think, but they haven't done the bracken here, so whereas I was thinking I could see everything. Basically there's somebody down there, I keep hearing them. I did see somebody a minute ago. There's another path lower down, I believe. I don't know if they're lost. Do a little bit of videoing here. I thought I saw some sort of creature come down that tree then. Right, so I've come down from over there somewhere. There's the path there. I was over there a minute ago and I was right up there near the cows before that. There are various paths that link up with Burrington Coombe. Here's another one here, quite a, I haven't explored it, but here's quite a well-defined path. If you were basing yourself from Burrington Coombe, that is. Of course, the only thing is, when I get to the other end of this, long windy track which skirts the whole of the north side of the Mendips here I've got to go back up but it's a steady up it's a steady up yeah it's clearing again now clearing again let's just go under here and have a look there's lots of ways up. If you didn't want to do this lower track, there are ways to join other paths. But, uh, 
you will get wet at the moment if uh, you do that because the grass will be wet my plan today is what I planned to do last week but the weather was actually not it was very windy and very grey and I didn't, definitely didn't have the right clothing on now oh, here we go here's a good view this is one of the best views here Back good if you're on the top as well but here's Barrington Coombe a geological wonder in itself I just zoom in and do like a little scan on the top goats climb all the way up there of course like you do at Cheddar a geological signature isn't it it's a coombe as opposed to a gorge they don't call it Barrington Gorge they call it Barrington Coombe the Rock of Ages is down there, which I've abseiled down. We're just down around the corner, there's something, there's a, it was, it was named um, after, a hymn was named after the Rock of Ages as well. And I've actually abseiled down what, the cliff top when I was in the Army Cadets. Many moons ago. <sighs> yeah, many moons ago. Right, just going to turn off again now and take some pictures again. Though I've got loads of this scene. <laughs> 